Hey everybody, welcome back to Chernobylite. Uh, we got contacted by some weird dude on the radio and uh, we went out to meet him, but we ran into somebody else. And so I'm curious to see- Igor, I need a minute. What's going on? If that's gonna actually lead us towards him or Something's not. Something's up. NAR is being really active on the radio. They're looking for someone, supposedly a traitor and a thief. I managed to pinpoint the location it's Kopachi, the village near the Pripyat River. This could be our ticket into the power plant. This person might know something important or have access to useful gear. So you want us to get there what before any are? Know? Passwords, credentials, uniforms, even rations. And it should be a fairly straightforward mission. That's what they all say. <laughs> if you're smart and fast, you won't even have to mix it up with NAR. You're right. This could be important. We should at least have a friendly chat with this so-called traitor. I'm glad you see my point. It's in Kopachi. You can't miss it. I wonder if there's missions that we do with these guys or if we're always going to be separate. Are we doing something or not? <laughs> we're doing something. Uh, he's still on the revolver. I'm going to keep these two. Um, if I were to switch him over, I just... I wish there was a way that I could see... Like, what does artifice mean? Like, not definition-wise, but how is how does this play in um, contextually to the game? I don't know, but whatever. They seem to be doing fine. Uh, but if we can make them better weapons, like, maybe getting a, a weaponsmithing table up would be pretty nice. Um, I assume the revolver is kind of more uh, stealth intelligence than the shotgun. Let me just go from there. Uh, all right, so Kapachi Trader. Olivier claims that NAR is conducting a search for some fugitive in Kapachi. If I get to him first, maybe I can get some useful info. That's definitely me. Now, these guys, if I look at Olivier, he does not have great, great chances of any of these. Mikhail, however, uh, significantly better. Now, I wonder if I am in here... Mikhail wanted you to wipe out the servers. Instead, you focused on searching information about Titania. Oh... That's cool that it even tracks each event. Terracan gave you a choice. Uh, destroy Moscow's IR, use it to increase the environmental analyzer. We used it. He liked that. Want us to wipe the servers. Instead, you focus on researching information about... Yeah. So this would have gone either way for these guys. Anyways, we're neutral. Uh, so that's fine. Um, I just... I don't see a way where I can see, like, his stats outside What's of... What's the skinny partner? equipping uh, equipment here. So he's currently at 107664. And Olivier is at 910377. So like I wonder if I wonder if this is having a much higher influence on their success. I can only boost it really with the shotgun, which I'm not about to give up. Um, I could boost it with camouflage armor, actually. You know what? I'm going to see if I can whip one of these up for him. I don't know if we have the requirements. Yeah, I need, I need more mushrooms. And that's not going to happen until tomorrow. But yeah, maybe that's the next step for him is getting him into some more camo gear and see if that helps his chances. Either way, uh, we're going out to Kopachi, obviously. Um, Health-wise, could be better. I actually wonder. Hmm. This might be another thing. What we want to consider. Uh, this is fine. Let's see. Inventory. Crafting tools. I think if we could get into this, again, we need mushrooms for first aid kits. That would be nice. Uh, maybe having one of these at the base would be beneficial. But I kind of feel like, eh, it's not that much. Let's just build one. And then I can just take some, some herbs here and make some healing salves. Let's take two. All right. Let's rock and roll. 
So exploring, food stash, supply drops. Uh, these are all exactly the same for them across the board. So let's do food drop, Mikhail. And let's do an exploration for Olivier. That seems like it'll work. And then if we can meet with this guy, the enemy of maybe my he joins enemy us. is my friend, as they say. But can you ever trust a traitor, Igor? Trust is such a fragile thing, earned at a great price, yet so easily lost. But you never lost your trust in me, right, my love? Now, Tatiana, she was a chemist, right? Um, being followed by the KGB, presumably working on something related to Chernobylite, I guess. Um, but I, I think beyond that, we don't really have a ton of, of information. Now, this is a zone we have not been to before. Now, we have a... Oh, that's another thing I wanted to do. Uh, find the... Build these anti-Chernobylite uh, burners, I guess. I'm not going to be able to grab anything in there. But mushrooms, like, high, high priority, it turns out. Very high priority. And we have a bunch right here. Herbs as well. I hope my idea of like... Oh, I'm like super radiation. Oh, God. Come on, man. I'm just trying to get to the plants. Just trying to get to the plants. Heal up a little bit. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Look at how the distance now that we get of these scans. That's kind of wild. All right. So the first thing we couldn't get into, we'll just kind of try to follow a bit of a natural path here towards our spot. Part of me... Ooh. We got something inside here. Oh! Dang. Okay, I feel like... Obviously, that's good. <laughs> Lockpick? I should have probably scanned because... Oh, actually. Alcohol. Anti-rad and herbs. A huge chunk of herbs, actually. Oh, e even more. Okay, that was worth it. When we first started exploring all these areas for uh, ingredients, I was kind of like, oh, that might, like, I don't know if I care that much. But when I'm at the base and I want to be building and I can't, it's super sad. And now with the improvements to our scanner, should make this a little bit easier, but I'm also going to be even more focused on it. Alright, hit me. Where am I going now? We could go straight in. Oh no, this isn't even the one. Uh, do we want to cross? Maybe we'll go here first and then we'll go up. Or maybe hit this one next. We'll see. So far, no enemies.
Oh, uh, that's probably another blocker. Let's see. I bet you that's what this is taking. Oh, Please, dang. Help. Oh, is he caught in the thing again? Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, I'll take the ammo, I guess. You're next. What? What? You're next? I'm going to regret that, aren't I? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am, definitely. I kind of appreciate some of the ambiguity that's happening, though. Let's hit this one. And then we'll look for the traitor. Now, this, this I don't quite understand yet. We get, like, this interference once in a while. And I'm not sure what that's signifying. Ooh. Oh, whoa. It's gas territory. This asshole's gotta be around here somewhere. Eyes open. I don't need any more shit from Kozlov. I know, I know. Damn Samichels. Nothing but thieves, drifters, and lunatics. Honestly, not even a clue right, where lunatics. they are. What sane person would choose to live in this irradiated wilderness? We asked them nicely to leave, yet they're still fucking resisting. Hey, you're right. I wouldn't be here either, but they pay better than the army. They must be looking for our mystery guy. Ooh, full shotgun. Oh, I think they're right on the other side. Am I close? Oh, I am. Okay. Well, I guess we're going here. I think we saw an upgrade where I could see uh, soldiers on the scans, right? That would be so helpful because oh, they seemed like they were so close. Probably down here, eh? Gotta be. Hey, Hello! Don't hurt me! I'm I'm unarmed! Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I know traitor! I was never even with the NAR. You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. Those spooks really want to find you. Your face is all over the radio. All right, all right. I, I used to trade with some of the grunts sometimes. But those knuckleheads got confused about how trading works. They tried to rip me off, and... And what? One thing led to another, and you understand. I, I took a few little items to balance the account. Obviously, they didn't want the brass to find out about their little side hustle, so they cooked up this yarn about a trader. Interesting. Yeah, but not nearly as interesting as you, my friend. <laughs> you're new to the zone, right? You've been staying in Mikhail's warehouse. Oh, he knows. I wonder what you're up to. How did you know that? I need to go now. They're probably <laughs> worried about me. Uh. Who's they? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Please step aside. I'm going now. I don't uh, think so, no, Tim. you're not. We have no idea who this guy is, Igor. We turn him loose. He could run straight back to NAR and trade our lives for their forgiveness or some other kind of deal. Don't you even think about letting him go, at least not before combing through his stuff. I agree 100%. There's something off, he's, but he sounds sincere. Can't leave before I search him. Absolutely. Sorry, but I don't like your story. Why don't you tell me who you really are? And let's take a little look-see in your bag while we're at it. Who I am is none of your bloody business, and I'm not showing you shit. Oh, man. 
It doesn't seem dangerous. I don't know if this means, like, we're going to kill him, though. That's my worry. We're both in a tough spot here. Maybe you're just a hustler, or maybe you're a spy. Yeah. I can't just let you walk away. I feel like that's fair. Yeah, looks like we're in a bind, all right. Ball's in your court, asshole. <laughs> oh. He is sketchy. He knows about our hideout for some reason. And this is, this is, the problem is, you think in this scenario, like, okay, well, if I, if I let him go, maybe he comes back at some point later and he is useful to us. And if I kill him, then that doesn't happen. But he might lead NAR to our base or something too. Sorry, man. It's too risky. It's too risky. I really am sorry, but I can't take any chances. Oh, that's... Oh. Am I going to regret that? He didn't even have anything on him. He had one ration. Yeah, I'm probably... I'm probably... There's a decent chance we might regret that, but... Okay. We just had another little crash to the desktop, which seems to be happening more than I would like. Maybe that was the game's way of telling me I made a bad decision there. But I feel like if it, if we're t if we're real talk here for a second, uh, I feel like that's the safest option for the scenario that we're in. Whether it's right or not, we'll see. Oh, what is this? Hello. I wonder if there's like a super hard mode where if you do these scans, or maybe you can't even do these scans, you just have to find the stuff without having the visual. Oh, look how far this takes us underground. That's crazy. And that, that wasn't even the thing? Maybe it was up behind this. That's where he came from. Hold on. Oh. Now we're talking. We've got clues. We've got food. Oh, that was weird. Christ, what kind of experiments have the KGB been conducting? Is the NAR trying to continue their work? Radiation dose rates from 89. Uh, field manual. Note 1. Object weight, age, and overall condition should be taken into account before injections are administered. Now, when we saw that other form, it had... Um, it was tracking age and, like, kind of a, an amount of time. I don't know if that's related. Minimum and maximum time between first injection of radiation two to six hours first injection of radiation dosed subjects re must remain lucid in order to monitor all reactions use adrenaline if, ne if necessary all phases from initial to m34 must be administered in accordance to field manual 34b and only after positive response of, of object table number one estimated dose rates per 75 kilograms 35 year old caucasian all doses are acute do doses one hour short term high level dose type msv description uh that's the how the chart is broken down as you can see initial 500 for impairment of the immune response following 754 beginning the process of inducing the state of super consciousness and m1 a thousand for preparing something something and then there's another one there m2 at 1259 Super consciousness, hey? Well, that's... That's something, all right. That is something. It's 
See, I wonder if this was... Yeah, I think this was up and above where we wanted to be before. Okay, we'll go grab those other items that we can see here. And then we're going to portal out. Especially since we found a clue. Let's go. Find out if there's any ramifications here. It's probably not something we're going to notice immediately, would be my guess. And it's probably something Mikhail's happy with. Or, sorry, not Mikhail, Olivier. Mikhail didn't have any insight, so. Okay, Olivier's. He failed. Alright, unfortunate. Mikhail, success. So he got mushrooms and he got rations. That's actually not bad. Uh, normal food. During a mission, your companion gets hurt badly, it impacts their health and psyche. Others may be angry since your companion failed a mission and got double food rations. Oh, interesting. This will just increase health um, and morale a bit, which I think is fine. Keep everybody on a normal ration. We don't need to stir the boat. Or stir the pot. <laughs> we have a lot of rations, man. Okay. I want to go review our clues here, I think. Igor McSpreegor. What's up, Chief? How's life, Mikhail? Ah, it used to be so much better around here. These NAR assholes are really throwing a chainsaw into my trading operations. Oh, I can imagine. It's a pity. Closed cities and nuclear reactors used to be a great place to trade. Uncle Misha, God bless his soul, if you ever had one, used to trade in Ozersk in the 50s. He actually witnessed the construction of the first Soviet reactor. Get this, a huge ass pit in the ground. Thousands of prisoners and soldiers working their asses off. Without heavy machinery, these fuckers were like the slaves building the pyramids. What you call cool is pretty twisted, Mikhail. Take a chill pill, granddad. <laughs> Don't you get it? It's all chaos. Always has been. Back to the story. The camp guards were totally unprepared to deal with this level of chaos and had to rely on hardened criminals to run the show. Misha told me about this colorful bandit chief who used to sit on a Turkish carpet at the bottom of the pit, giving orders. He wore these puffy, exotic-looking sequined trousers and red shoes with pointy toes. As long as the guards provided vodka and some decent food, he kept all the workers in line. I find that hard to believe, but hey, who knows? It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. This place was very fucking special, <laughs> and Chernobyl was too. Until everything went to shit. God damn it. I miss Look at his fingers days. sometimes. That's weird. His right hand there. Uh, okay. So, Want I'm going to check trade? something here. Just make it fucking quick, will you? I feel like if Mikhail needs one of those late night shows on the History Channel, he'd be very good at that. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, I'm going to be using that. Look at the artifice, though. If I give him this, it drops his perception and intelligence a bit. Okay, let's leave it for now. I am going to swap this into five. And I want to see what the stats are like on Olivier. Where's my dude? Olivier, where are you? Oh, he's down here, checking things out. I'm wounded, Igor. Can you get me a first aid kit? Uh, I can give you medicine. Appreciate it. Take the salve. Already. Good. Okay. So the food he still wanted, but he still needs the medicine, it seems. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure. Whatever you need. Okay, let's see if this gives him a decent boost. Drops intelligence a bit, but brings up that artifice. I'm going to check my theory to see if this actually does anything. Um, let's make sure we get some of these. I'm going to take three of them. And... Yeah, well, look at all the mushrooms we have right now. So this is the time definitely to make this. I'll give them 
Oh, I'm out of space. Wow. What's going on, Igor? Can we swap some stuff, Olivia? Sure, whatever you need. Okay, so instead, take this. Ups that artifice, drops resistance a bit, which is totally, totally fine. This I can just store. And what do I want to... What else should I store in here? I mean, I could be storing these things, but I don't know if there's a maximum per slot. None of them are split out yet, like the bullets are, so... Maybe I'll just store some of the bullets. I don't think I need to be carrying all of these. We have a bunch of metal plates. Rifle ammo, gas masks, okay. So let me whip up another one. And we'll give that to our buddy up top. The fuck you want? Just chill. Want to trade? Just make it fucking. Okay. Do something like that. The fuck you want? Mikhail, perhaps a gathering in. I don't need any of that. So maybe capacity. Might be good at this point, I'm not sure. Um, perfect gathering seems great, especially if I grab it early. I'm doing it. Perfect. Let's do it. I feel like I feel like that's gonna be long term, that's gonna be the way to go. I, I wonder, actually. Gather and supply seems easy. I wonder enough, if that right? impacts what we well, pick at the base. Not. You need to know I'll shit. check after this. For example, herbs with large leaves can often be found in the vicinity of their smaller brothers. Or even beneath them. So being extra observant means additional stuff. Okay, I like Ready that. Ready to put Uncle Mikhail's knowledge to the test? Okay, let's make a healing ointment. Got you it. need to find two mushrooms and two healing herbs. And because my time is so precious, <laughs> I'm giving you no more than 60 seconds to find them. Yeah, yeah. Three. Two. Don't do it again. Ah, fuck it. Just go already. <laughs> go fetch me some motherfucking mushrooms Jeez. and herbs, Professor. It's just so foul. So foul. Okay. Now that we know we get to keep the stuff from the training exercises too, I am all over it. Igor, 40 seconds left. Yeah, I mean, that's probably everything that's in here even, I bet. Oh, no. Jeez. Okay. Let's check this thing. Nothing. Come on, shrooms. Let's go. Snag. No dilly fucking dally in you here. I don't know if I can get to this one. Oh! So close. I feel like we did pretty good, though. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Let's work on the healing ointment now. All right, that's all for now. So I guess you just want us to get the ingredients. Sweet. That's a that's gonna be a huge boost. Now here we're usually getting what 0.5 out of each box, right? Why can't I? Uh... Huh. I wonder if we maybe... Maybe because we uh, didn't check this right after we did a training, maybe that switches it for some reason? I'm not too sure. Okay. Weapons, armor, containers, gardening. Uh, we're going to do this now. A little bit of food. Even though we seem to be... Uh, you know what? Let's just start with one, because we have a bunch of rations at the moment. What would we want to build next? I'm thinking... We need to find out where I can build that anti... or that Chernobylite stuff. Right here. I need Chernobylite-powered tools. That's the first thing I need. Hmm. 
Mm, not here. Not here. Is it under this section, maybe? Yes, it is. I'm short on mechanical parts. Okay, so that's going to be something we want to save. Um, what else might we want right now? Let's go into here. Revolver ammo, shotgun slugs. I don't think we need to produce ammo. This can actually build weapons. Revolver calibration tools, shotgun calibration tools, but we need mechanical parts. Rifle calibration tools is just uh, flammable stuff. And then look at this. Molecular plasma thrower, molecular batteries, rail guns. Yeah, okay. So maybe we just save everything for uh, Chernobylite powered tools at the moment. Because our base is pretty solid, I think. This, uh, I don't think we're going to upgrade that. I'll maybe do one more of these. I know it's mechanical parts, but the stuff that that unlocks is just insane. Okay, and where are we at here? 3, 4, 3, 7. And this is what we just found. Radiation dose rates. Crazy experiments on people. Is Tanya one of the victims? This is General Kozlov. Okay. So we're getting there. Okay. Nothing weird. Nothing weird. Famous last words. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Wish me luck. Uh, we'll see you out there in the field. Bye for now.